located in a red brick building on the campus of the University of Iowa, was the temporary studio of acclaimed artist Eric Saul. Inside, spatterings of oil color paints dot and slash across a workbench. Palette knives, paintbrushes, cups, liquids, and aluminum tubes lie chaotically across a table, appearing themselves to form a unique work of art. It was here, amid the coordinated chaos, that Sal created an art piece which has been installed at the Bowling Federal Building in Kansas City, Missouri. Sal designed a triptych, a painting divided into three sections as part of the GSA's Art in Architecture program. The three huge paintings, eight feet wide and six and one half feet tall, are on canvases constructed from stretched linen wrapped around durable honeycomb aluminum panels. The untitled paintings are installed at the lobby of the Holmes Avenue entrance to the Bowling Building. My piece for the Richard Bowling Federal Building has changed in quite dramatic ways several times now over the course of its making. It is a triptych, but it began as three unique panels, each painted separate from each other. One of the unique aspects of Sal's work is his technique of making seemingly finished paintings then continuing to add paint and essentially burying the original piece. He will make several paintings on one surface over the course of weeks, months, or even years. Often there are few visual clues as to what came before. I like when art not only dazzles your senses, but also when it makes you think about things. And I am deeply honored to be part of a legacy of creating artworks for government buildings. Eric Saul was born and raised in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. He is married to textiles-based sculptor and artist Rachel Hayes. Saul received a bachelor's degree in fine arts from the Kansas City Art Institute and a master's degree in fine arts from Virginia Commonwealth University. The General Services Administration oversees the commissioning of artwork for federal buildings nationwide. The artwork enhances the civic meaning of federal architecture and showcases the vibrancy of American visual arts. Together, the art and architecture of federal buildings aim to create a lasting cultural legacy for the people of the United States. The art and architecture program is funded by 0.5% of total construction costs.